Good day, everybody. My name is Brett Sober. I'm here with my business partner, Don Stewart, and we're videotaping eight themed videos uh, on behalf of Oceans Week Victoria. And our first location happens to bring us to the amazing Fisherman's Wharf, which is a fabulous community of liveaboards on sailboats, commercial fishing fleet, uh, homeowners floating on the ocean, living uh, their daily lives, and we've got businesses down here all collaboratively and cooperatively working together. It really is essentially a floating village. Our first theme is Connection Sunday. Connections are important in our everyday lives, in our work, but when you relate it to the environment and our connection to the environment, it's important to understand what those mean. There are so many amazing people in Greater Victoria who are working on protecting and communicating about our oceans. And building connections together is one of the best ways we can affect positive change. So who do we know that does work relating to the world's oceans? Well, our friends at Peninsula Stream Society, Ian Bruce is, of course, one of those amazing people who is in charge of an incredible organization on the Sandwich Peninsula. And he's gonna speak to the importance of the connections uh, of beaches and why is beach restoration important to the oceans? Over to you, Ian. Why are protection of beaches and restoration of beaches important to the Sea? Beaches form an important interface between the land and the ocean. Beaches provide habitat for animals, plants, and humans. We love our beaches. Also, beaches provide spawning habitat for little fish called forage fish. They spawn in the gravel. Those forage fish are important in the food chain. They provide food for fish like Chinook salmon, that then provide food for endangered orcas. But the beaches are under threat. One of the threat is sea level rise. So what we do at Peninsula Streams, we respond to that by educating people to protect the beaches and by restoring them by adding sand and gravel. Ian, you always, you always impress. Your people are amazing, the group is incredible. I would encourage everybody to check out Peninsula Stream Society and get involved, volunteer, boots to the ground, help your marine ecosystems and your watersheds out on the Saanich Peninsula. Bar none, incredible project. Thanks for sharing. Another example of connecting people for the greater good of the environment is our friend Chris Boss at South Vancouver Island Anglers uh, Coalition. How did the community, Chris, come together to help Chinook Salmon? How did the community come together to help South Vancouver Island Anglers Coalition with our Souk Chinook Salmon Project? It was launched in 2017 with the purpose of raising juvenile Chinook Salmon that will come back in three to four years as adults that can feed the endangered southern resident killer whales. This is a privately funded and fully volunteer operated project that is community driven. It's a true testament to community how this project has come together. First Nations, the people who live in Souk, as well as the fishing community. We're very proud to this, see that this project is now coming to fruition. This year we'll have large adult Chinook salmon, 25 pounds plus, many thousands of them returning to the area in August. And I'm sure we would have not have had the level of success without very generous people and organizations like your own. Thank you very much indeed. Chinook salmon certainly are an important fish to the ecosystem and in our case at Eagle Wing Tours and the marine ecotourism sector when we have the pleasure of going out into the Salish Sea and watching all these wonderful whales, in particular the ecotype known as the Southern Resident Killer Whale Community who rely heavily on Chinook salmon. This is just a project that's right up our alley. We've been very proud to support it over the years. Uh, we'd like to take this time to acknowledge not only Ian Bruce from Peninsula Stream Society, but also Chris Boss from South Vancouver Island Anglers Coalition for their time uh, helping us with this virtual Oceans Week Victoria eight day themed concept. That's uh, the first that we've sort of put this together with various partners in the Greater Victoria area. So we thank them for their time and their support. 
Um, and to you, the audience, you know, watching this, watch the other seven videos to follow each day from Sunday to Sunday, June 7th to June 14th, 2020, and challenge and challenge you to, to think about who you may know that does great work relating to the ocean. And these are the stories that we really are trying to encourage to share in community so community feels connected with their community, with their environment, with their habitat, with their naturehood. And until next time, we'll see you for Impact Monday, which is the next juicy topic, and uh, we'll be talking about that tomorrow. Thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate it. Don and I just wish you well.